Hello everybody, it's Muzzy here and welcome to another commentary. Today I'll be talking about opinions. There'll be some gameplay in the background and some music by Ruby. If you enjoy the music, make sure to click the link in the description to take you to his SoundCloud page. So, after reading a review of GTA 5 on GameSpot and noticing that I only got a 9 out of 10, I say only, but 9 out of 10 is a really good score. I expected to get a 10, but it got a 9. Um, I read the comments because a lot of people were saying the comments are really funny. And there, I, could, I could only see one or two comments that, that realise that a reviewer reviews the game based on their opinion. <laughs> and the rest of them were just like, this review is stupid, um, don't bring your political views into this, uh, GTA is a perfect game, it should have a 10. You shouldn't give it, you shouldn't give it a 9 or you're stupid and there were, there were personal attacks as well and it was all really stupid. I don't think these people understood that a reviewer's job is to give their opinion on a game. And if you want to see a wide range of opinions, you should you should never ba judge, judge a game by one review. If you're going to judge a game by reviews, which you sh probably shouldn't do anyway, sh you should play the game first, but if you're going to judge a game by reviews, then read a lot of them and find one written by someone who is like you. So don't, if you're if you're a woman and you have similar political views to Carolyn Petit, who who wrote this review on Gamespot, then that would probably be a good review for you. Because the reason she gave it a nine out of ten was because it was wait what was the quote? It was politically muddled and profoundly misogynistic. And a lot of the comments were saying, "Oh, GTA is misogynistic. Well, you should expect that." But why should you expect misog misogyny from a game? <laughs> you shouldn't have it in a game. It... I know it's a reflection of the real world, but it's like over the top. And I disagree with the review about the misogyny part because it is a reflection of what happens in the real world. And in context, because because it's a fantasy, it's a it's a completely made up world, and everything is completely over the top. That whatever bad stuff they have in there is that is is right in context and the amount of like the competitor the amount of people you kill in the game you kill hundreds and, and hundreds and even thousands of people while you play that game and the problem she had was that it was misogynistic like and i personally can understand where she's coming from because i know that she has an opinion and this is what people don't understand especially on the internet because they don't understand that somebody else is going to have a different opinion to them. Like a reviewer will give their opinion on a game, and you, you may have a different opinion. And good for you, good for them as well. Because you can have whatever opinion you want. You can think what you want about something. If I hate somebody, then I'm not going to say it, but I'm allowed to have that opinion. I'm allowed to not like things. And I'm allowed to say that I don't like this because of this, and it's a completely valid reason. If there's a completely valid reason, then it's fine. <laughs> so, people's views were like, oh, her reasoning is different to mine, therefore I should attack her family. And it doesn't make sense. <laughs> like, because, and a lot of people say, oh, a reviewer's job is to give you a fair, unbiased opinion, not opinion, uh, unbiased fact on whether a game is good or not. And that's not their job, because that would that would be their job if they were the only reviewer. But they're not the only reviewer. There are loads of reviewers, and a reviewer's job give their opinion. I know I've said that three times already, but people don't seem to understand. They don't seem to understand that other people will think differently to them. They're different people. They're not going to have the exact same views on everything. Yeah, <laughs> I think that was it. People have opinions, and they're not always going to be the same as yours. So just consider that if they don't think the same as you, it doesn't mean that they're a horrible person. Because your friends don't think the same as you on everything. Like your friend might think, oh, the Xbox One's better because Sony lied to you. Well, I'm, I'm not saying that's true, but maybe. And then you'll think, oh, the PS4's better because Sony did the right thing in not adding DRM. And it's that sort of thing the, where people need to have those sorts of discussions, not like, oh, um, GTA 5 is profoundly misogynistic, so I'm gonna take a mark off its score for that. And everyone else be like, oh, well, you're stupid and you should go die in a hole. 
That's not how it works, that's not how it should work. And it's just stupid. So, people need to change. Like, like straight up. Okay, so that's it for today. If you enjoyed that video, then like the video. If you want to see more, then subscribe. Uh, make sure to check out my last video, uh, Indie Watch on Paranormal Activity. And have a nice day. So, bye.